Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Marshall live and uh, I'm out here about to get my, my burpees in for the day. Uh, if you guys don't know, maybe some of you have seen, I, uh, I do 100 burpees a day. I walk 10,000 steps a day. I do 100 push-ups a day and I lift once a day. I don't take any rest days. I haven't done that for a long time. The reason I'm making this video is I know that I haven't really talked about fitness or my health or routine or my habits or any of that stuff. Like I've never talked about that online because I've always been so narrow sighted and insecure with myself that I thought that I had to just talk about speaking to get you guys to buy from me. What I have realized over the last eight months is that a number of people are failing because they have shitty, terrible, bad daily habits. They put bullshit in their mouths. They break their promises to themselves all the fucking time and they don't take care of themselves. So they hop online, they say one thing, they do all this shit, and then who they are off camera and offline is a completely different story. The reason I'm making this right now is because I know that I've been posting a lot about fitness lately. And I'm just telling each and every fucking one of you that if you're gonna come by my page and you're gonna say something like, um, oh, are you qualified to do all of that? Or I, I do this and, and I still get clients and I'm not like, listen, that's fine, you do you. What my thing is to my speakers and my team is that if you're not trying your very best to be the very best version of yourself, then you don't have any fucking right to be online telling other people to be the best version of themselves. And so I'm gonna get started, but uh, you guys can follow along. Whoever hops on, we'll talk to you. But I'm just letting you know, man, like I will fucking light you up. If you come to my page, I'm not gonna go to your page and talk shit. I'm not gonna do that. But if you come to my page and you wanna say something stupid, I'm gonna let you know exactly what my opinion is. People are like, oh, so he's like, oh, I hope you're qualified to, to fucking do that. I hope you're qualified. Oh, I hope you're qualified. I'm like, listen, take a look at me and understand that I understand nutrition. I understand how to work out. I understand how to move the human body. I understand how to keep people safe. Uh, yeah. Say what's up if you're kind, if you're alive, say what's up. Or hey, better yet, if you're fucking down, why don't you bust out some burpees with me? It's just the online space has gotten so fucking out of control lately with so many people saying shit online and then doing another offline and I'm calling bullshit on everybody. And I don't care if you're fat. I don't care if you're fat. That's not what this whole thing is about. My thing is leaders with integrity. So I don't think it's with integrity that somebody can stand up and preach to other people about being their very best self or having discipline or having mindset when you can clearly tell that they don't based on their body or lack of it, right? And also, I don't care if my clients do burpees. That's not the fucking thing. I don't, and I don't care about whatever anybody does. That's also not the thing. I just am tired of the online space being so full of shit. Like earlier today, I thought the guy was my friend, but I, I called out a coach and I said, listen, you have to set a record for making your clients hundreds of thousands of dollars every month. Because every month you post another client, 25,000, another client, 50,000, another client. 100,000 and I'm like, okay, cool, dude. This is awesome, but where are the receipts? Where are the videos, video testimonials? Where are the written testimonials of all this? You make your clients hundreds of thousands of dollars, but we have never seen a testimonial. Never, we've never seen one. And so I asked, I was commenting on one of his posts and then he deleted the post and he messaged me. He's like, what's your problem, bro? What are you trying to do on my page? I'm like, I'm not trying to do anything on your page, bro. I'm giving you props and I'm asking you where are the receipts? Like, is that, that, is that that hard? Is it that hard to actually have fucking integrity and do the things you say you're gonna do? When not just on camera, but always. And so, 
again, I'm not trying to offend people and tell people they're fat. I do not care what you do. Just do not stand in the limelight and tell people you're one thing when we can fucking take a look at you and realize that you're not. It's not that hard. And this person that said something to me, I wouldn't say shit about her if she didn't say something to me. Like, do you understand? I am not for everybody. I understand that most people are not gonna wanna train with me or like I do because my body of work is intimidating in and of itself. Because you take a look at me and you're like, oh, this guy's on point. This guy's on point with everything in his life. This guy's got the whole fucking thing going on. That's intimidating to me and that's fine. If you do not, if you're not interested and being the most elite version of yourself, then there's a trainer out there for you who will let you get to the, whatever your best version is. And that's okay. That That is completely okay. I'm just telling you that if you're a fat trainer or a fat speaker, then just keep it to yourself. You, you don't have to come to my page to comment on my shit to get validation from me. Like, do you understand what I'm saying? That's all I mean. It's like, then just don't comment or unfriend me. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to my fucking people. I'm talking to the Marshall Gillens, the ones that are fucking sitting there smoking, drinking, putting shit in their mouth. They're, they're, they say they're one type of man and they're not. I'm not talking to the women. I'm not talking to the fat people that don't care. I don't care about you. I'm talking to the people who say they are elite, but they aren't. The people who preach one thing and then do another. So this whole video, all I'm like, yo, bro, just don't come to my page talking shit if you don't want to get fucking laid up. I just think it's funny. And don't even get me started on speakers. A lot of you guys call yourself speakers and I go listen to you talk and I'm like, you're not influential at all. You don't know how to tell a story that actually gets people to take action and want to buy from you. And all I'm doing is just holding people accountable. There's two types of people. When people hear the type of message I'm preaching, the first type of person is gonna feel called out. They're like, fuck Marshall, who the fuck is this guy? Are you even, do you even have qualifications? Are you? <laughs> Are you even certified to teach people that? I don't fucking know. Are you qualified to write a book? Are you qualified to be on stage? Like, I don't know. I don't come around your page fucking questioning that shit. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I think I'm getting loud. I think people are like, I'm all turned up. People are <laughs> in the courtyard looking at me. But all I'm saying, you guys, is um, if you are a coach or a leader, if you're a speaker, you have a higher responsibility and you have more responsibility to lead. Now listen, you don't have to be a theologian or a Christian, but even 1 Corinthians, I think it's verse six, chapter book six, verse nine through 19 through 20, which says that your body is not your body. It was given to you by God and in all things in your body, you need to honor God. So if you're telling me that you believe in God or Jesus Christ is the savior of man and you can't even control what the fuck you put in your little piggy mouth, then I don't believe you that you really truly honor God. You honor yourself. If you honored God, you'd wake up every morning and you'd create yourself as a sacrifice and give that man or woman back to the world like Jesus did. Fifty down, fifty more to go. To all those of you guys who are like me, though, the men out there, the women out there who want to be elite, who want to be the best they can possibly be, who don't want to just be mediocre, who don't want to just come part of the way and go, you know, that's pretty good, that's okay, but your arms are still like all jiggly, and your legs are all jiggly, and you have the audacity to sit here and tell me that you've trained ten thousand people. 
I feel bad for those motherfucking people. I feel bad that they found a mediocre leader who's gonna allow them to be mediocre as well. Because what a shame. What a shame to live this beautiful life and never know what you can become. And this has nothing to do with being, being aesthetics. Are the aesthetics great? Absolutely the aesthetics are great. This has nothing to do with that. You guys, think of a car battery. Your body is an antenna. Your body is a battery, right? And a car battery, the little terminals on there, when they're all gunked up, you gotta take the thing off, you gotta use a wire brush, you gotta clean them, and then you put the thing back on. And why do you do that? You do that so the charge that the battery can receive is its full strength. So if we live in an energetic world and we are an antenna to God's message and the thoughts of God, the cleaner your terminal is, the better it is to conduct that energy, the better the download's gonna be. So I just, I'm, so, I'm not, I'll never fucking agree with you that if you're not in your best physical shape, if you're not in your best fitness shape based on the things you put in your body, then you're not, you, you're not doing your service to God. You are not getting as strong of a message as you possibly could. When I walk into a room, my body of work alone holds people accountable. Then I open my mouth and they're like, fuck. So if you want a coach to tell you, oh, it's okay, dude, it's okay. You did pretty good this week. I'm not that dude. I'm gonna tell you what's up. The second type of person that's gonna hear this message, so the first type of person that's gonna hear this message, they're gonna feel called out. They're gonna be like, this guy's an asshole. He's calling everybody out. The second type of person that's gonna hear this message is gonna know what I'm really doing. And I'm calling you up. It's up to you. You can feel called out or you can feel called up. I'm a representation, but a simple reflection of how you feel about yourself. And so I don't even know who this chick is. I don't even know how we're friends. I don't even, I have no idea who she is, but she thought it necessary to come mosey on over to my last reel and leave some dumbass comment that she, that's super long. Her pants are all probably sweaty, probably fucking greasy too. And she has this whole long fucking thing to say. And I'm like, all right, girl, well, you asked for it. I didn't come look into your page. I didn't come say nothing about you. So this is the third lesson of the day in this live video. It's very, very simple as an adult. Don't start nothing. Won't be nothing. Guys like me are not coming out looking for people like you trying to hurt your feelings. Guys like me are living their life as a representation every single day of what it looks like to become the greatest version of yourself and then to give that person back to the world. That's what I believe our purpose is overcome whatever problem or challenge that you've been given and then once you figure out how to overcome that give that back to the world if that lady has dropped 100 pounds and that's the very best she can do fuck yeah fuck yeah like let's go like let's fucking go i don't care about having washboard abs or being fucking jacked if she did her very best and she literally can't do any better fuck yeah like oh let's go i'm proud of you girl you should be proud of yourself but don't go to other people's fucking pages looking for a problem when you come to my page, you're gonna get one. So here's what I want you guys to remember. Write this down, put it on your wall in a post-it note because this is, this is real shit. As a leader, your weakness is their way out. Do you understand what I'm saying? So she's bragging about being an author, creating this fitness program and training more than 10,000 instructors. That means that 10,000 people she had taught how to be 80% of as good as they could be. How was that acceptable? Like if somebody taught your kid only 80%, if the driving instructor only taught your kid 80% of what they need to know, would you be okay with that before they got on the road? Or would you be like, no, no, no. I want somebody that's gonna teach them every single thing they need to know to be the best, most safest, most defensive driver possible. You would say that. You'd be like, I want them to know the whole thing. So all I'm saying is like, if you're a leader that you know you shouldn't be doing, 
your conscious is speaking to you, which your conscious is the authentic voice of God, that's how you know what the fuck is up. So like when you put that donut in your mouth or you do that thing you said you were gonna do, oh, I'm not gonna eat that this week and then you do, you're just breaking promises to yourself and you're programming the people around you that you're a fucking liar. This is especially for men. The, day, the dude that tells his wife, oh, you know what, honey? I'm gonna lose that 15 pounds finally. She's like, okay. You know, you tell your kids, oh, dad's gonna make a million dollars this year. And they're like, okay, dad. They don't believe you. They don't believe you because you don't believe you. And your body of work shows every fucking person that you walk into the, how little you respect and believe in yourself. So that's all I'm saying, dude. Please don't come to my page talking shit. Because I don't like being this guy. But the truth is, is you guys don't know me. And I don't mean that like, oh, you don't know me. I'm just saying like, you guys follow me on social media a little bit. And I try my best to be as nice as possible and be who I am. But I didn't grow up like, I mean, I grew up on a farm. And then because of my raising and my trauma, I decided to get myself into some shady shit with some bad characters. And so from the age from 20 to 30, I wasn't hanging out with good people. I was doing shady shit with dangerous people doing dangerous shit. And in order to be that life and in order to live that life, you have to have something wrong. And I'm not proud of this. It's not what I'm saying. I don't give a fuck about that. I'm just telling you that there's part of me that I try to turn off and shut down because inherently I am a very violent person. I've always been a very aggressive, violent person. And so I've had to learn personal development to be able to help me tame that. It's, you guys have no fucking idea how hard I have worked over the last decade of my life to become the version of myself that I am. And this is as watered down as it comes. I'm trying the best, right? But that is who I am. And so if you're gonna come and you, and you, this is what you guys need to understand about people in the world in general. We live in a country with social media where it makes it so easy to give your opinion. Most people just need to be smacked in the mouth. And if we could just fucking smack people in the mouth like you used to be able to without getting in trouble, the world would be a better place. There is not a fucking time ever in human history besides like the last like 30 years where some beta motherfucker could walk up to an alpha warrior and tell them something without getting fucking smacked or killed. It would have never happened. But we live in this bullshit liberal world now where fat fucking people or dumb people can say whatever the fuck they want without any consequences. And I'm not telling you I'm gonna roll up on you. I'm just telling you, if you caught me in the wrong mood in person at the wrong time, I don't know. I don't know. You might get something pressed inside of your head and I'd fucking ask you how you're feeling then. God damn it. You guys, this is too easy. What the fuck are we talking about? All right, that's 90. But you get the point. I'll spread enough of my anger. To those of you who know, I love you and I'm here for you and I will fucking go to bat for you and I will fight for you and I will believe in you. And you ask my clients, my clients aren't all jacked and ripped up and ask them how they feel about me. Because when you act accordingly and you treat people with respect and you don't act like a fucking Karen or a Chad, that's what you get back. I simply mirror the energy that people give to me. So if old girl wants to show up, she, and I'm triggered obviously, I'm very triggered right now, which is why I'm doing this, but I'm sharing the real message, which is like, everybody's gonna reflect the energy that you bring to them. And I'm pretty balanced. If you ask my people what it's like working with me, they'll tell you, dude, Marshall is the best. He will literally do anything for you. He will go to bat for you. He will defend you. He'll hop on calls anytime that you need. He will never fucking leave you alone. You'll never have to figure out anything on your own. Like he's fucking got you. Ask my people, because that's how I am. Because when you're fucking running with shady characters and you're selling drugs and you're dealing with violence and weapons and shit, loyalty is everything. And telling on people is not an option. 
And so I have something in me that most of you coaches don't because I came from a very, from a place that a lot of people haven't and I've survived that. And it doesn't make me fucking cool. I'm not saying that. I'm just telling you for a lot of you are looking at like, God damn, this guy is like fucking, what is his problem? I don't have a problem. I'm just tired. I'm so fucking tired of the online bullshit. I'm so fucking tired of the online bullshit. You guys are fucking liars. You're lying. You lie all the time. You, who you are on camera and stage is not who you are off stage. I can tell by looking at you. And that's all I'm saying. And so I, am, I, I'll, am I playing the whistleblower? Fine, I'll play the whistleblower. If I have to be the bad guy, that's fine. Everybody needs a bad guy. I'm just done with people's bullshit online. If you wanna be mediocre and you wanna be half-ass and you wanna break promises to yourself and to your family, that's fine. Do you. Don't come to my page with that bullshit. Ooh, hundred, baby. Peace out.